How do you get your favorite soundbite, your favorite quote into the story? Now, I'm assuming you've done your due diligence, you've brainstormed messages, you've come up, you've come up with the top three, you have a handful, ideally six or more sound bites for each one of your message points. But there's one sound bite that you really love. It's your most important message. You would love, love, love to see this in print or on text or in an audio video format. Here's a technique I use that's highly effective. You deliver the sound bite once, stop, pause, and then you say, hey, Ms. Reporter, how did I think about it? I really think this is what sums up what is of the greatest interest to your readers, and then say the sound bite again slowly. Nine times out of ten, you'll hear click, 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 click on the keyboard when you're talking over the phone to the reporter. What you've done is you've highlighted that sound bite, you've bookmarked it, you've put yellow highlighting on it and you've essentially flagged it. Well, the reporter's looking for stuff that is of the greatest interest to the readers, if it's any kind of a text publication. So you can't do this all the time. You certainly can't do this multiple times in an interview. But once per interview can, if not guarantee, at least dramatically increase the odds that that quote gets in. Now, again, it doesn't work if it's a bad message. But if it's a message that's interesting to the reporter and it actually has soundbite elements, you've increased the odds it gets into the final story.